Good morning. <clears throat> Believe it or not, that was the word. That was the first word I said this morning. Okay. What do I rate waking up at 5 a.m. so far? I was awake at 5, but I didn't get out of bed till 5:30, and I'm actually so proud of myself for getting up because once I realized by 5:30, hey, I'm not even actually that tired. I got right up. Right now, I'm using hyaluronic acid for flawless, younger, perfect skin. Yes, please. Welcome to my outfit before my real outfit. It's, I think this should be an all right journey. When I try to do 5 a.m. videos, I usually wake up around 5.30, like the first time around, and then I never do it again. So let's not be that. We do have my end of the season banquet. We're gonna give away awards. And then like go eat at this Italian place. Since I already woke up and like filmed so much, I feel like it's gonna give me motivation to wake up tomorrow and to continue the video. So I'm just gonna do skincare for now since it's so early in the day. I'm not gonna do any makeup until before I leave. Ooh. Who's hair? I just put on some moisturizer. One of the things that I do to try to wake up at five in the morning is to give myself a bunch of stuff to do in the morning so that I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I have to get this stuff done before school because like I can't fit it into my later schedule like after school and stuff. Cause girl, when I tell you I am booked, okay? The washing machine literally just broke. I wasn't able to help them at the laundromat yesterday. So now I'm gonna have to be the one that folds the clothes. And I just realized that I'm busy all night. And they said that's the first thing I have to do after school. Bro, I'm busy at four o'clock after school. So I'm gonna have to go out there and fold all that laundry before I go to school today. Now that I think about it, I gotta hurry up and get started. So wake up at 5 a.m., woke up at 5.30. I'm not giving myself any justice. Shake my head, Keely. Wake up at 5 a.m. next time, the frick. Okay, shower, skincare, plus pick out school outfit. Unpack my soccer bag because it's really nasty in there. Gotta do a Bible study. Oh, brekkie. Edit, vacuum my carpet, and take my brother to school. Let's hurry up and get started because it is going on 6 o'clock. And we gotta leave here by 7.30. <laughs> concealer that went through my washer and dryer she'll literally bring it to school and have it in my pocket all day we'll totally forget my one and only goal for the day is to give this to willow i just realized that my parents have a rule that we can't go anywhere unless the dishes are done after school like that splits between me and my brother and i'm so busy after school that i have to get this done this morning we are busy and i wasn't just saying like just some clothes no no we got all of them clothes to fold one thing I'm really sad about is that we don't have a coffee machine, so let me go get a nice cold glass of water. I'm probably gonna turn on some type of motivational speech. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I will put y'all on to my water. Like, do you want me to make water for you? Like, I'm not even sad about not having coffee. I'm fine, I'm fine, truly, I'm all right. I'm fine, I'm fine, truly, I'm all right. Where do I even start? To be honest, I just hope that I don't run out of storage by the time I'm done with this laundry. I still don't know why I'm just carrying around a towel. <gasps> oh my god. Get down. Cat just almost kissed my bird. That's that's too close. Going on the third basket. We're doing good. I just need to be guilty. The brother. Two more baskets to go. Let's go. We got okay. So I just got word that the washer is fixed. Thank you, Father. As soon as I'm done with this laundry, I'm throwing all my clothes into the washer. It's so hard separating all three of these boys' shorts and boxers because they all are the same size. Ugh. <sighs> Last basket finally, and it's going on seven o'clock. I think we should get this done right before or no like right on the dot i'm a fast folder i'm a pro at this at this point like sign do you need your laundry folded five bucks ooh, ooh. i told y'all it was like going on six no it literally was five minutes before six and we got this all done we turn in our soccer jerseys for the season today i remember I was vlogging around the same time last year and I was saying number 10, signing out. Number 10 was signing out. But this feels more deep because it's my junior year. I don't know, I literally just have a single year left. It just makes me sad. Number 10, signing out once again. We'll be back next year.
Good morning. Oh, are, the, are those crumbs? I got trust issues with this thing, so I'm just waiting. As we get started on these dishes, it's going on 7.20. My older brother hasn't like gotten up, so I don't know. I don't ask questions. For all I know, you already told our parents that you're staying home for school. I think right now I'm gonna put the dishes away. I have 10 minutes before I have to leave to take my little brother to school. So like there's no time to do the dishes in between that. water steaming hot so by the time I get back it's like pretty warm still but not too cold so I don't gotta like redo the water I gotta soak this with boiling water so when I come back it's gonna be so easy to clean I could not feel better. I honestly feel so good. I just got done texting my best friend Willow. Like, I feel so good. I'm gonna wake up at five in the morning every day of summer. Probably not. Most of the days of summer because usually I spend my days like when I wake up around like 10 ish, I like I'll spend my days cleaning, right? But why do that and waste my whole entire summer day away when I could wake up five, five thirty to do my chores of the day? And then by the time literally it hits 10 o'clock, I can spend the rest of my last summer as a child because this is literally my last summer i don't want to waste a, a second we got plans every single day anyways i just got here to get gas at the gas station this is like one of the last things that i have to do for this morning routine other than literally go home and get ready for school bro not my slippers I fill up this boat i just got home there's a few more things i have to check off my bucket list before my morning is complete but let's hurry up get these dishes done so i can change into like my real outfit for the day going on 9 30 it's 9 22 on the dot last thing before i leave i just want to get as much done as possible so let me swap this laundry and throw in a new load crickets so i had it on spin and dry they didn't even wash but this just makes me more and more excited for summertime bro now that i know like this life hack of literally just waking up at 5 a.m how much it will do for you how productive you will be and this is just day one it's pretty nice outside i thought it was gonna be like nasty because like the weather app said it's gonna rain today it's gonna be like cold but that's the complete opposite guys where should i apply at i really wish like my dream right now is to be making enough money to need to pay my car insurance and for my gas and for events like father's day is coming up and i would love to get my dad like something really like memorable and like my friend's birthday is coming up and like i have this idea for her that i need to get done with what might that's why i'm gonna keep grinding on youtube i'm gonna keep grinding in my uh detailing business spread the word you guys please gosh look how much eyebrows i have left what am i gonna do this eyebrow needs it more than the other one so i think i'm gonna wear kind of like a cute outfit today so i don't know if i'm gonna wear these leggings actually because like since it's the end of the season party i want to dress kind of cute we're probably gonna be taking pictures so I'll let me put my bands in before I forget because I will literally go my whole day. And I also need to set a reminder to wear them at night because since I got them in like April, I'm not wearing them at night a single time. There's always this ring on my forehead. Like, go away. Let me go show you the top that I want to wear. This is the shirt. I'll try it on with these leggings, but these leggings are like big and I got to like roll them up. Okay, so this is the fit. This is what I'm thinking. My fit last year was way better because it was like way more professional last year what we did for like the end of the season celebration but this is literally just like at school let's pack my bag up pack my jersey up and head to school that's gonna finish the first day of our 5 a.m challenge so excited because this has really opened my eyes already on the first day i'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 a.m on the dot one week later so you did in fact just hear the spongebob guy correct it has been a week five o'clock six o'clock isn't that just like basically the same thing y'all i swear i'm trying i swear i'm trying what is life go 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 go
That woke me up for sure. It was cold. Good morning. Y'all see this routine every time. I'll see you when I get up. I literally told you guys so. I would get up at 5.30 the first time around, never do it again. Anyways, this is week two of trying to wake up at 5 a.m. It wasn't that bad. I am at 6. I feel like we'll have it down this week. I, I, I feel it in my soul because I prayed a lot this weekend. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. This morning, before I do anything, I want to do yoga because somewhere me and my friend did a Bible study yesterday and I did a cartwheel and I rolled my ankle. What am I, 50 years old? And on top of that, soccer tryouts for club are in like a week. My ankle is like tight. And with that, my whole entire room is cleaned. I don't like to do anything unless my room is cleaned. Now I'm searching up yoga. Um, so I just pressed on this. It's like a full body one for athletes. I think I need to be right now. Cool. And extend the right hips on the ground. Like this. Inhale. Open. Reach. Maybe become really. Gotta put my hair up real quick. I am getting hot. I've taken yoga classes before, but this feels a tad bit intense. The uh, focus here is really. Y'all, what did I sign up for? So basically, I'm about to have my Bible study because I do one every single morning, basically until I die. Let's get that done. I feel like the yoga was pretty intense, but it's something that I could definitely get used to and learn how to do. Cause like, I need to learn how to balance it. Oh, why don't you look at that? Another blue stain. I feel like mornings should be very peaceful and productive by the time it hits like 10 11 then get into the chaos of the world from 5 a.m until at least 8 that is your time that is time to reflect on you to just spend time with yourself and god i'm gonna continue reading in psalm so if you're interested in like how i run like my bible studies basically before i read the bible i'm gonna pray and i pray about what i want to hear from god and how i need to hear it things that i'm struggling with and that i need help with remind him that i'm so grateful for him but then i write down about what i prayed about and some more stuff kind of like a reflection i read the bible do this method called the soap method literally the word soap s-o-a-p so s stands for scripture so i'd write down the scripture o stands for observation and i observe what God is trying to say. And A stands for application, so I apply it to my own life. And then P stands for prayer. Bible study was successful. I'm low key about to take a nap. This is the fit. I definitely repeated it. I've worn it a single time, but this shirt goes with nothing else other than these cargo pants. Where are my eyebrows at? Dang. Anyways, I just got this out of my car and low key, everything sounds melted you guys remembered my eyebrow pencil was running out a week ago so that means it's out today i just went into my stepmom's room i'm always taking her stuff and this is actually the last week of school so you can imagine how excited i am tell me why this is the necklace that willow wore for prom but it's so like settled also go subscribe and follow my detailing business account on instagram on tiktok on snap actually that's just my boyfriend's snapchat I'm so happy I finally got a normal nose piercing into my nose because before I was rocking earrings. So I went to somebody's graduation party this weekend and I ruined my Air Force. Kane, I am so sorry. You didn't even feel that, huh? Cause you got a brick head. I ruined my Air Forces. Let's go clean them off so that I can hop into my car and drive to school and get this last Monday of the school year over with. Because when I tell you I am ready. Okay, cause yeah. Basically, I failed. Basically, I failed this whole entire video and there's not much we can do about it. I would wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning and be like, Fuck. no, I will not be doing this. I will not be getting up out of my bed. So I failed. Literally for two weeks, I failed. But I'm looking gonna blame it on the fact that my motivation was to go to school. Now that school is over, starting tomorrow tomorrow's our last day um i will have motivation to like not only my motivation was like oh i gotta wake up and go to school no now it's i gotta wake up and i can better my life so i will be taking this much more serious coming soon i need to get into the habit of doing this before i record and waste my time and think i have a video idea and then fail so that was just basically a wasted video um i hope you guys enjoyed just like talking to me i hope you learned some things especially about like the bible and stuff that i was talking about soon we're having an end of the school party so y'all will see that vlog coming out preparing for it buying all the stuff necessary it's gonna be a great time i'll see y'all in my next video bye